2025 Jeep Wrangler order banks are open. Let's get into it and find out what you can order on your new Jeep. So over the weekend, we actually noticed on the JL Wrangler forums that the 2025 Jeep Wrangler order guidebook was available for both the two-door and the four-door, the full PDF version. You can go on there, click through, read all your options, see the price, see the suggested price, and all that good stuff. JL Wrangler forums is always up to date on that type of content. So we'll give a shout out to them because they always seem to find it and post it up there very quickly. So we saw that over the weekend and then just about 10 minutes ago, we got off the phone with Megan and her team down at Dan Cummins and we got some more information. So so we always like to talk to Dan Cummins. That's of course a huge sponsor of our channel and we love those guys. It's where we buy all of our Jeep Wranglers. So she gave us a lot of interesting news and today what I wanted to do is kind of go over what that order guide looks like. The fact that you can call right now or submit on our dealership affiliate program and order a 2025 Jeep Wrangler. And then I want to talk about our opinion on what Jeep is doing and why they're doing some of these things. All right guys, the first thing I wanna talk about is what's new for 2025. So I've got the order guide pulled up here on my phone and we're gonna go through it and check out what's new, what's discontinued, what's changed and kind of try and break it down for you. There's two things that caught my eye right in the beginning and those were some color options. So one of the first things that we actually talked about in our last video talking about the Fathom Blue 392 is that color will be late availability for all of the 2025 Jeep Wrangler lineup. Ryan and I both discussed if that was on a base sport or even a Rubicon, how sick that color would be. And honestly, it is an absolutely awesome color in person. It's a little darker than I was hoping, but I think on some of the other trim models, it might look really cool. Would you have some black breaking it up or maybe even throw a tan soft top on it as one of the JL Wrangler Four members actually took one of our photos, photoshopped a tan top on it, which looked sick. So Fathom Blue, if you guys have been waiting for that and you want it on a base model or a lower trim model than the 392, you're going to be able to order it. It's late availability, meaning it is not available right now. And when it is available, you know to follow Dirt Road Cred and we'll post it up right away. The second one, which is a color that we've only seen on a concept vehicle, it was on the Jeep 41 concept at Easter Jeep Safari, which is a 41 concept basically embodied the military spirit. So it had those kind of military style front and rear bumpers, the steelies, the super wheels on there. It had everything that would have been kind of similar to a 1941 GPW. It was in army olive drab green, and that's what color is coming out. PJ5 is the paint code, and there was also a forum member that found that as well. It's a metallic -y army olive drab green. The code that actually pulls up on it is the 1989 Jeep Wrangler YJ Sahara. So if you guys remember that YJ Sahara that was the tan olive kind of mixed with a little bit of subtle brown, that's what paint coat it pulls up, but the 41 concept doesn't look like that, nor does the other paint swatch. So it's gonna be similar to that. And like Jeep normally, Ryan, they're not gonna post any photos no. or, or any sort of symbolism of what it looks like. So we're gonna have to find oh, one. We'll, we'll try to render something. <laughs> so we'll render one and we'll try and find one, just like Fathom Blue, Purple Rain, yeah. High Velocity, all the other colors. But that will be late availability as well. So I don't wanna buzz kill anyone right out of the way, but I do think that those two cool colors are being held off. We have to wait to see how long, maybe mid, mid 2025, yeah. early 25. I don't know, uh, we're gonna have to wait to see, but it is cool to see two brand new colors. Now, although you're gonna have a late availability of two brand new colors, Jeep decided to pull the plug on a lot of other colors, surprisingly, on the 2025 Jeep Wrangler. I got off the phone with Megan and I was super surprised to hear that there's only six colors. Ryan, you heard that right, six colors that you can order right now, and they are, in no particular order, Anvil Clear Coat, Black Clear Coat, Bright White Clear Coat, Firecracker Red, Granite Crystal, which they've had issues with forever on the paint match tops, and Hydro Blue. So no more Bikini, no more High Velocity, no more Tuscadero, no more Earl Grey, no more Sarge Green, no more Silver Zenith. But right now, those are the available colors. And you know, we actually talked to a couple people when it comes to the Jeep world, and it does seem like, of course, those are the predominantly highest purchased colors for Jeep Wrangler dealerships. A black Jeep, a white Jeep, silver, dark gray. I mean, those are like common colors. That's uh, probably one, a little deterrent for the 2025 Wrangler is that right now, that's all that's out there. So if you wanted one of those fun, crazy colors, that's just not there. Now, don't be afraid. Dan Cummins still has a ton of 2024s, which is in all essence, the exact same Jeep, just with a fun color on the exterior. However, I think pulling the plug on some of those colors was 
a bit heart-wrenching for ourselves. Not only did they pull the plug on some of those colors, but there's a couple other options that we haven't seen here. So the first one is the high altitude package, which is of course paint matched everything. You've got paint matched bumpers, paint matched mirrors, door handles, all that good stuff. We could not find that in this initial order guide. The second one, which is a fan favorite for me, the dual door group does not seem to be available right now, at least in this initial order guide. Now that can change in the future. However, right now it's just not looking like it is. And I think that stopped a little bit ago because I've been building 24s out and I haven't seen the dual door group in a while, yeah. which is crazy. I'll give you guys a quick hack though. If door, dual, dual door group ever comes back, you can actually order a base sport with dual door group and it automatically gives you power windows and power locks, no upcharge. Right, that's what I wanted to do with the animal, but, but you couldn't do it with your good. color, but that's a free life hack for you guys. Yeah. Sometimes those options will give you quirky little features, yeah. which are really good. The one thing that I will say is a positive though, after you know you look at some of those things that were removed, is that the pricing hasn't really increased. I actually compared a 2024 Willys two door to a 2025 Willys two door. The MSRP on the Willys, like starting as a two door base sport, which they all start as a sport, was 31,995, and the new Willys for 2025 was 32,095. So that's a hundred bucks. Yeah. And I've looked across a few of them. And I think it ranges between a hundred and two hundred dollars MSRP grain between those. Now, not only did the MSRP not go up, but when you actually add it on the Willys trim to the sport, it was seventy five hundred bucks in twenty twenty four, and in twenty twenty five, it was seventy five hundred bucks too. Pricing hasn't really gone up on these, and I think that's probably because the prices have gone up so drastically between twenty twenty two and now that they really don't have any more room to go up in the prices. From what also that we've looked at, so you can still do the Extreme Recon package on both the two-door Willys, two-door Rubicon, the four-door Willys, and the four-door Rubicon, and you can still do those on all of that. Sky One Touch looks like it's still available. All the other features, besides those couple that I mentioned, look to still be on there. Power lumbar seats, the McKinley leather on some of the options, the 4XE, I just talked to Megan, Ryan didn't even hear this part, still has the two liter turbo. So we thought maybe the 4XE was getting that revitalized 3.6, the new electrified, whatever, still the two liter turbo. So still there, not any engine upgrade, but on the topic of engines and the initial launch of the 2025 Jeep Wrangler, as of today, the day of this filming, you can only get the two liter turbo with the automatic. The 3.6 comes with the manual. You can't do a 3.6 auto. You can still do the 3.6 with a manual, just no auto on the 3.6, which is kind of like the bread and butter. Now for Ryan and I, that makes us happy because we love the two liter. I mean, yeah. he's got one, I had one, my dad has one, so we love that engine. But Megan said a lot of customers are kind of leery of that just because they wanted the 3.6. They wanted the V6. And if you want an engine and you want that, for the price you're paying, you might as well be able to get it. Now guys, this is my favorite part when Ryan and I can really give our two cents into what we think is happening. And honestly, it's funny because a lot of the time it ends up either being true or very similar. So let's talk about it. The 2025 Wrangler, you can order it right now. For me, it's fantastic to see. The 2025 Wrangler, we've been waiting to see when it's gonna come out. We're about three or four months late right now. Normally it's released in May or June, even like early July sometimes the model years will come out in the previous year. So like 2023, that's around the time frame that the 2024 was revealed. So if you can get a good essence, we're about three or four months behind. I think there's a lot of factors going into why we're so behind on the launch. And then I'm gonna call this 2025 Jeep Wrangler launch the soft launch. I think it's like a soft launch of the 2025 with more of the goodies coming out either middle of next year, we say, maybe May of next year, or maybe earlier, I don't know. But for the 2025 year, I think there's gonna be late availability, normally means a few months, if not another quarter later. But the soft launch to me is for a lot of reasons and why I'm calling it that is just because there's not a lot that has changed. I mean, obviously the price point isn't different besides 100 or 200 dollars. The colors, there's very limited colors on this. If you want a 2025 Wrangler and you wanted some sporty flashy color like Ryan and I normally have, it's just not available. It's black, white, firecracker, red, gray, and kind of the staples. And I would say those colors have been around forever. So they're just like, put it on the 2025, we're gonna hold off a little bit on the fun colors. And I think that's for a specific reason. But I think Jeep's plan with that by not launching all the fun colors or giving the cool colors right away, or even the engine, the three six right away, is to help dealerships sell the 24s on the lot. Man, are they packing up. I've seen dealers that have so many Jeeps they can't even park them and they're like renting lots next door, like parking garages, to put more vehicles in because they're just not selling. If we do a soft launch on the 2025, don't change it up, don't frisk things up too bad, we might be able to help our dealership 
plural dealerships, sell these 2024 Wranglers that they've had sitting on their lot. At least that's our take. I think that that's probably a big push for a lot of people. When you're buying a Wrangler, the biggest thing for us is the color and the options. And when you limit the color and limit the options, especially an engine option and a color option, it really will push you back towards maybe that 2024, which is still the updated. It's got the updated interior, updated exterior, and for a little bit lower of a price point. When I say soft launch, that's kind of how I'm feeling. It's kind of how the 2025 Wrangler is, is making me feel on the back end. And then also the fact that the final final edition hasn't been revealed yet. So Megan said she can't order the 392 right now and you can't order the 2024 final edition, which we know this play all too well. You can't order the 392, it's going away, it's done. And then it's back out again. So I, I think that that was kind of the play there was like, let's hold off a little bit. We'll see how the soft launch goes maybe squeak in the final, final, final edition into the 2025 and uh, and call it there. But yeah, I think it's an interesting play by Jeep. And honestly, like I said, we're still excited that the 2025 Wrangler has come out. And for me, there's a lot of personal opinions on that. So if you like any of those colors that I just listed with Ryan, you have an Anvil Jeep. So Anvil is still available. It's still ready. I kind of want the newest model year for my money. I don't know what it is, but like if I'm going to buy a brand new vehicle, I don't want I want the latest and greatest if I'm spending that kind of money. So I think that's still a very big push for the 2025 Wrangler is that thou na that now is the most up to date, which kind of sucks too for the 2024s is that value goes down yeah, a little bit because yeah. now it's not, it's not the no, newest it's not. Jeep. It's not brand new. It's not fresh. Either way though, after all that, you know, talking about all we did today, what are your opinions on the 2025 Jeep Wrangler? What would you like to see in the full launch? Not the soft launch, like I'm calling this the soft launch. I think the new colors will be in the full launch. I think so too. I We have been seen, and that brings up a good point, we have not seen anything on the Gladiator yet. No order banks have opened for that, as well as no order guys. And that is in those official corporate documents that are public knowledge. The 2025 Gladiator is supposed to get a 4XE. But what else do they need to do? What kind of colors would you like to see? And what else would you like to see on the Wrangler? I'm almost kind of envisioning these comments already because Mango I can Tango. hear them already. Mango Tango, yeah, there's a comment where he's like day, I think we're up to like day 20 or something of G asking Jeep to ring back Mango Tango. Shout out to you because we do read those and it's hilarious. But now from both Ryan behind the camera and me back in the studio, we want you to get out there and earn yours.